to begin our program tonight, and you can bet your life it will be one of those junior misses because our judges have watched all the girls in both preliminaries. They also carefully considered each one during her personal interview. And now they have narrowed their choices down to five finalists. And here they are, the five girls who will go on to compete for the title of America's Junior Miss for 1985, Mary. <laughs> this is nervous time, I remember. I've been there. The suspense is terrible, so let's not delay another minute. All right, here they are. Ready, everybody? Our first finalist is South Carolina's Junior Miss Anna Whiteside. finalist this evening is Minnesota's Junior Miss Lana Williams. Congratulations. <laughs> Our third finalist, Mississippi's Junior Miss Dee Dee Patterson. You think there's a little bit of excitement uh -huh. going on here? Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> we only have two left. Okay. Our next finalist, Texas Junior <laughs> Miss Valerie Lorenz. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Uh -huh. Now, this is it. This is the last girl that has a chance to go on to be America's Junior Miss for 1985. These, all these girls have worked so hard for the last week and a half. And here it is. Our fifth finalist, Nevada's Junior Miss, Terry Ivan. By the end of this hour, we'll become America's Junior Miss of 1985, and we wish you all great luck tonight. And we'll be right back. Be back. We didn't run a stop sign, did I? Ma'am, I am talking tickets. I need tickets to America's Junior Miss pageant tonight. <laughs> America's Junior Miss with Bruce Jenner, Mary Fran, and the exciting physical fitness competition after this. Girls come from the East and they come from the West. I came from the Midwest, from the state of Missouri. You did? Right. But for a while there, the South was really on a roll with America's Junior they Miss were. winners. I'm sure you remember there was North Carolina, mm -hmm. Mississippi, Alabama. And then last year, <laughs> out of the far north in Minnesota, came a lovely girl who just took Mobile by storm. Our current America's Junior Miss, Amber Quanley. <laughs> Good to see you, too. You've had a wonderful year, oh, I know. Yeah. You've been a terrific junior miss, and you're using your college scholarship to continue your education. Mm -hmm. So I think everybody would love to know what your first year was like in college. Well, I tell you, my first year was really good. I was very pleased with it. I went far up north to St. Olaf College, a real small town, Northfield, Minnesota, and I'm a pre-med student. I'm a chemistry major. So future doctor. Future doctor. It was, it was tough keeping both responsibilities, but I did my best, and I think I had a good year. I can't Great. believe it has been a year I since I announced All your year, name first. here. But, you know, I know the last time when you came down here, it was your first plane trip ever I know. to Mobile. I'm now sure. you're a seasoned traveler, seasoned aren't you? Seasoned traveler. I've been everywhere, Bruce, <laughs> everywhere. I tell you, I have been everywhere. And I have to say, one of the most thrilling things, I think, was meeting the president in Washington, D.C. Oh, I'm yeah. sure that was a big yeah, highlight for was. you. And, of course, all of the nation got a chance to see you on CBS's telecast of the Easter Parade. <laughs> and just in case any of you missed it, take a look at this. Isn't that a pretty picture? Amber, I want to thank you. You've been a great representative for the program, and we're going to need your okay. help, so stick around. I'll be here. Okay. okay. Bye -bye. See you later. Amber Kwan. <laughs> all 
the diet and exercise books and tapes that are out there on the market today? Oh, absolutely. I think if you just bought all those books and tapes and carried them home, you'd start to get in great shape. Uh, you're ah, you're that's right. My program. You're probably very <laughs> right. Which brings us to something that America's Junior Miss programs have always emphasized, and that's physical fitness. And during this special number, the five finalists will be spotlighted. So at home, pick out your favorite and see if she's also the judge's choice. And now, wearing their outfits from teammates, here's an Oscar-nominated song given an award-winning performance by all 52 junior misses, Footloose!
energy, right? Oh, that was some serious <laughs> energy there. And in a minute, we will know the judge's decision for physical fitness. Now remember, the physical fitness competition is just one of the categories that qualifies a girl to become America's Junior Miss. So we'll give you a quick rundown of the scoring system for America's Junior Miss. Physical fitness counts 15%. Scholastic achievement is 15%. Poise and appearance is 15%. Creative and performing arts is 20%. And most important of all, as I can tell you from my own personal experience, is the judges' interview. This is the time they have with each girl individually, and this counts for 35%. All five categories add up to a perfect 100%. And Mary, well, do you think the judges have made their selection? It looks like they had. They were feverishly working over there a second ago. <laughs> I think they have carefully studied all five finalists in the physical fitness competition, and they have come up with a winner, as you see. Amber brought it in, and I think I should have this one, the physical I think fitness you should. competition. It's only I would love to award this one. Right. And the winner of the physical fitness competition is Texas's junior man. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. All right. For more than 25 years, junior misses have been achievers and pace setters of their generation. Some, like Diane Sawyer and my co-host Mary Fran, have gained national prominence. Others have been successful in a variety of business, scientific, and professional careers. Our five judges this year are all former junior misses. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And they really represent what this program stands for. Absolutely true. And first, a magna cum laude graduate of Harvard with a degree in economics. She is now a practicing attorney in California. Hawaii's junior miss of 1975, Corliss Chang English. Next, Pennsylvania's junior miss of 1972, who has just completed a four-year residency in diagnostic radiology at the famed Mayo Clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Carol Williams-Lyons. She is a Phi Beta Kappa graduate of Kansas University and now a teaching fellow at Stanford University, and she specializes in Latin American literatures. Kansas Junior Miss of 1980, Belva Wilson. Next, a former member of the music faculty at the University of Illinois. She has a master's degree, summa cum laude, from the Juilliard School of Music in New York City. The 1972 Junior Miss from Illinois, Barbara Gorgel Condon. An advisory systems engineer, she also serves as a captain in the Marine Corps Reserve. She went from Kansas Junior Miss to become America's Junior Miss of 1973, Linda Rutledge. Ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished panel of judges. And now we come to the competition that is really a tough assignment for our five finalists. This tests the girl's ability to think on her feet and to express herself well in an impromptu situation. Each girl will be asked a question by one of our judges. And girls, you'll have just 30 seconds to answer. So when you hear this chime, it means that your time is up and you must conclude your answer. Good luck. All right. Our first finalist is going to be South Carolina's junior miss, Anna Whitesides. Now, Anna is a member of the National Honor Society and the School of Arts Honors graduate and was the state winner in the Piano Festival. And Corliss English, your question, please. Anna, you stated in your interview that you would like to become a doctor. Medical schools have begun to cut back on the number of students accepted for fear of oversupply of doctors. How do you feel about this? I think a profession in the doctor field is so important that we can never be over indulged with doctors. So I, I guess I feel that I don't think that this is true. So I would hope that people would consider how important the profession is and would open the field up to as many people as wanted to be a doctor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hannah. And the next question will be directed to Minnesota's Junior Miss, Lana Williams. Lana 
is a member of the National Honor Society, the International Thespian Society. She also works in the anti-drug program. Dr. Carol Lyons, may we have your question, please? Yes. Lana, you told us that you are interested in a career in the media. In your opinion, do you feel television, magazines, and newspapers depict teenagers as they really are? I feel overall teenagers are depicted as we really are. We're young Americans who are striving to better our futures and going about it really the only way we know how. It's unfortunate when the few of us are spotlighted in not too good of a form. But overall, I think we're just striving to better our futures and the futures of all America. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. Our next finalist is Mississippi's junior Miss Dee Dee Patterson. Now, a member of the National Honor Society, Dee Dee was a student body president and won a national award for leadership. Belva Wilson, your question. Dee Dee, you are just beginning to pay taxes, and I see you plan to study tax law and later enter politics. What reforms in our tax system would you suggest? I would suggest a reform to tax larger corporations. I feel larger corporations need to be taxed because they find loopholes and are not taxed. I feel that the middle class of our society is the basis of our, our economic system and our government, and they need a break. Thank you. Thank you, Dee Dee. Our next finalist is Texas Junior Miss, Valerie Lawrence. Valerie is a member of the National Honor Society, the Drama Club. She also works with the American Cancer Society. Barbara Condon, your question, please. Valerie, our nation was built on a policy of unrestricted immigration. Today, illegal immigration is a problem. Would you recommend any changes in our national immigration policy? Living in Texas, we are faced with illegal immigration daily. And though it is a problem, I don't feel that we should stricken the rules against it and our policy against immigration. America has always been the home for all immigrants who, who wanted a free life and who wanted to live under democracy. And to change our policy would be to change our ideal set about by our forefathers. The only thing I'd like to see changed is a little bit stricter enforcement along the borders of our, of, our, of our country in order to protect the rights of our citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, the next finalist is Nevada's junior miss, Terry Ivins. Now on the honor roll, Terry is a member of the Continental Singers and Brass and the Life Center Church Choir and won the U.S. National Speech and Drama Award. And Linda Rutledge, your question. Terry, you mentioned that you are interested in special children, that is, the mentally or physically handicapped. Instead of an institution, do you think that placing these children in a supervised, home-like environment is beneficial? I definitely think that's beneficial. I mean, there in a home, you get the love and the comfort, and you get to, you know, you get to have a mom and a dad. When you're in an institution, you have the doctors and the nurses and all the medical care, but you sometimes lack the love. And I think love is the most important part to help those kids. They have so much to give, and sometimes, unfortunately, no one to give it to. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank all of our finalists and judges. Well, it's going to be a tough Ooh. decision. And, yes. Well, you folks at home, how are you coming along with your own judging? And who are you going to pick as your personal favorite? Saturday on Airwolf. That's a Soviet sub out there. Hands up! Hawk and Caitlin are all that stands between a Russian invasion and World War III. Those missiles are only seconds from the target. Then, Murder on the Gridiron leads Mike Hammer into a sudden death playoff. Did I score? Action and Adventure, Saturday. Tomorrow on CBS. Here we are on the showroom floor, Dub Richardson, 439th and North May Avenue. Our big super sell is in full swing right now, and every car we've got in stock is on sale. It's got a special sale price because we are declaring war on high sticker prices. I mean, we're shooting holes in the sticker prices. If you want to save some money, come on down to Dub Richardson Ford, buy a car, drive it home, take a 19-inch color television with you. We're open until midnight tonight, and we're selling cars at Dub Richardson Ford. So if you're in the market for a car, don't wait. Come on down right now. S-I-G-A, you save more. 
Mm. Delicious homemade ice cream calls for Milnot, and you'll call Milnot a great buy at the IGA red tag price of 39 cents for a 12-ounce can. Totina's Pizza. You've got a lot to choose from, and the more you buy, the more you save at IGA. Now just 79 cents for a 10-ounce carton. Seven delicious varieties at one great red tag price. Sunshine American Heritage Crackers. Now just 79 cents for an 8-ounce box. At IGA, you save more. We'll talk with an OU professor in Brazil who's working on the Mengele case at 10. Bruce, have you ever been to a powwow party? Do you even know what a powwow party is? No. no well, you're I not don't. alone, neither do I, but all our junior misses do, because that is just one of the fun things that they did this week. They had mm -hmm. a dinner party, they had a swimming party. Yeah, they had a run for fun, yeah. and they visited the battleship uh, Alabama. Right. And now tonight, the big event. Inspired by Madonna, Cindy Lauper, mm. and a few others you've heard of, each girl has created her own version of the costume of her favorite rock star. And wait till you see them all together. <laughs> Proving once again, girls, girls just, just want to have, have fun. fun. Year, the has-beens put on a fun show, and they have trouble keeping their rehearsals secret. So this year, they tried the Riverview Plaza Hotel. Uh-oh, there's a spy. Time for a lunch break. <laughs> well, that's some sandwich. There's the answer. A great place to work, but a bit confining. Aha, the perfect spot. Oh, but maybe not. Well then, how about an underwater ballet? Hold your breath, girls. Now, be sure to stay with us here live from Mobile for some more real excitement when our five finalists compete in the creative and performing arts presentation. And then, the grand climax of the show is when the judges finally select the winner of America's yeah. Junior Miss. Don't go away. We'll be right right here. Yes. National Finals for 1985 with Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Well, where do you think she got that Diet Sprite? Are you kidding? You can get Diet Sprite anywhere. But that's the new Diet Sprite, the oh. one with 100% NutraSweet. Diet Sprite has 100% NutraSweet? It does now, along with a great taste of lime and... Wow. By this time, Mary, I think everybody knows that our five finalists are bright, charming, poised, physically fit, and able to think on their feet. Also, along with the other girls, they've taken part in a week-long presentation of performing arts. Now, for each girl, this involves selecting her own material, her costume, the setting, and naturally performing it. So right now, 
comes the moment of the ultimate test for our final five in the creative and the performing arts. All right, our first finalist is South Carolina's Junior Miss Anna Whitesides, who will play Frederick Chopin's composition, Fantasy Impromptu. Now here on the piano is South Carolina's Junior Miss Anna Whitesides. Our next finalist is Minnesota's Junior Miss, Lana Williams. She will perform a musical skit from a chorus line about a dramatic actress who tries to explain why she can't sing. Ladies and gentlemen, Minnesota's Junior Miss, Lana Williams. Next. Oh, hi, my name is Lana Williams, and I'm here for my dramatic audition. This is a musical. Don't you have a song? Musical? Song? Well, see, I really couldn't. Sing. I could never really. Sing. What I couldn't do is sing. is Mississippi's junior Miss Dee Dee Patterson, who portrays a soldier, late for roll call, of course, but hears the beat and has the feet start to move into Boogie Woogie Blues. Here's Mississippi's junior Miss Dee Dee Patterson. Boogie Boogie Bugle Boy of Company 
Junior Miss Valerie Lawrence. Valerie evokes the excitement of life in the big city with her own interpretation of New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Texas Junior Miss Valerie Lawrence. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Next is Nevada's junior miss, Terry Ivins, who's traveled throughout the Orient and the United States and now sings her own special tribute to America. Nevada's junior miss, Terry Ivins. <laughs> find out who the judges have picked as the winner of the creative and performing arts and I don't know how they could oh, choose all one. of them were so good thank you Amber you know I did the uh, physical fitness awards I think you should probably do the creative and performing arts awards. I would appreciate that by this the way what was your uh, talent when you did junior miss 
I, I did a humorous monologue. I'm still doing I'm still it. Still doing it. I'm still working on it. I'm sure Bob Newhart would appreciate that. Yes. All right. What Hopefully do we got? So okay. No more suspense. Yes. The winner of the creative and performing arts competition is Nevada's Junior Miss. Very nice job, and deservedly so. And now comes the moment when we pass on the title of America's Junior Miss to our new winner, who will receive a $25,000 scholarship. Now, we started out with 52 contestants. We've moved it down to five. Well, let's meet them one more time. First, South Carolina's Junior Miss, Anna Whitesides. She played the piano solo, Fantasy and Prompt 2. And she will enter Clemson University and prepare for a career as a medical doctor. Next, meet once more Minnesota's junior miss, Lana Williams. <laughs> Lana did a musical skit from a chorus line called Sing. She will enter the University of Minnesota and she plans to major in journalism and mass media. Mississippi's junior miss, Dee Dee Patterson. Now, Dee Dee did a jazz dance to the music, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. She intends to enroll at the University of Southern Mississippi to become a tax lawyer. And our next finalist, Texas junior miss, Valerie Lorenz. <laughs> Valerie performed the song and dance called New York, New York. She plans to enroll at the University of Texas and prepare for a career in law or political science. And Nevada's junior miss, Terry Ivins. Terry performed a vocal solo, a tribute to America, and plans to enter Oral Roberts University or UCLA to prepare for a career in special education. And now, the judge's decision. Mm. Oh, here it goes. Okay. We're going to start with the second runner-up. And the winner of a $7,000 scholarship. The second runner-up is South Carolina's junior miss, Anna Whiteside. I get a hug is the best part. All right, here you go. Congratulations, Anna. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up and the winner of a $10,000 scholarship is Minnesota's Junior Miss, Lana Williams! Congratulations. Congratulations. Very nice. And now, Oh, boy, Mary Friend, you've been through this before. Some things never change. I'm as nervous now as I was then. All right, let's meet America's Junior Miss for 1985 for the first time, and that is Texas's Junior Miss.
America's Junior Miss was sponsored by 